Hey there marketing fans, welcome along to another episode from Adventures in Internet Marketing and uh, I want to share something with you which came about as the result of a message that I received. Uh, somebody uh, sent me a message via my blog, uh, they just went to the contact page and, uh, and typed me a little note there and you can do the same thing if there's any questions you have that uh, you'd like me to answer. Anyway, this was from Jeb and Jeb said, uh, James I saw your video on Google, great info but can you guide me on how, do I, on how I do research to find out what others are paying for their keywords. So first of all, Jeb, thank you very much indeed for your message and uh, this is going to solve that issue for you and not just for you but for everyone else who uh, is subscribed to my YouTube channel and also who reads my blog as well. So uh, yeah, thank you very much indeed for your message. Now the um, site that I'm going to talk to you about is called Keyword Spy and you can find a link to it uh, underneath the description of, uh, of this episode whether you're watching it on YouTube or whether you're uh, listening to it via iTunes or any other means that, uh, that you have for practicing uh, this particular content and keyword spy is wonderful because it allows you basically to spy on your competitors because you can basically go and build upon the success that they've had and find out what it is they're doing that's working and then go and build upon that yourself by doing the same kinds of things yourself and you know you can even the cool thing about this is you can even actually basically steal their ad copy because there's no law against you know taking someone's ad and running it yourself if you can find an advert that's working really well well then you can go ahead and copy that ad and what I would suggest you do is you use it as a basis so actually model that ad and then you know run lots of different versions of it to see which one works best and just try and continually uh, improve upon that advert so you know keyword spy is cool what you can do is you can go to the keyword spy homepage and you can type in a site I'm just going to type in something like um, eBay dot co dot uk for example which is the uk version of ebay and you then choose uh, the actual region and you can choose from a number of different regions the main ones are the united states united kingdom canada and australia but there's also the americas uh, europe asia and africa are all covered there as well uh, it's not all the countries in all of those regions but all the major countries uh, are, are certainly there and the major ones that will be running you know cost per click campaigns and one thing it's worth noting actually before I, I carry on is that when you're kind of looking at your competitors cost per click it's worth noting that cost per click changes all the time it, it's constantly in flux so as a result of that you're never going to get a completely hundred uh, percent you know accurate CPC for your competitors because like I say it's constantly changing because you know if you think about it CPC runs on a basis of um, uh, like an auction kind of site really so it's you're, you're constantly you know battling against other people to try and get the the lowest possible cost per click you know while beating other people in terms of your bid so you know that's constantly changing so as a result you can never get a completely 100% accurate uh, cost per click you know for your your competitors or even for yourself necessarily uh, you can just have to keep checking your account and seeing what your cost per click currently is and as a result these tools although they're accurate are not 100% accurate if, if that makes sense so just a quick disclaimer for you there but this should give you a very good insight anyway so yeah you choose from your uh, your country and you enter in you can actually enter in a number of things on the keyword spy homepage. Either enter in the domain, so that's the address of the site, or the keywords that you're currently trying to target. So if you're targeting, for example, I don't know, um, I don't know, in internet marketing, for example, you know, let's say that that's your main keyword. Well, what you can do is type in that keyword and then just select the keyword um, uh, choice underneath, and then it will search for the keywords rather than for that domain. And it can also be for, you know, you can search for destination URLs. So again, if you have a, a particular competitor and they're you know landing on a particular page, then you can basically reverse engineer that particular advert and find out what the advert is and where it's running from. So all of those features are fantastic on keywords by I'm going to do a search under the domain like I say for ebay.co.uk when you run a search like this uh, then you actually get the um, the top results for each of the following categories you get the ads that that company is running you also get their PPC keyword so PPC is uh, pay-per-click so you get to find out what it is they're actually paying to advertise on whether it be on you know Google or any of the other uh, networks that are out there things like Bing or um, the Microsoft network any of those you can also find out what their organic keywords are and uh, also find out who their competitors are as well so you get an absolute wealth of really cool information right here now to answer the question that Jeb um, 
asks you need to go to the ads tab and you'll see all of the ads that they're currently running so in this case eBay are running a huge amount of different adverts for a huge number of different things as of course you would expect there's actually uh, 3.2 million ads that they currently have running on the various different networks you can see under each uh, advert you can see the exact the exact ad copy that they're using which is amazing you also get to find out what their return on investment is which again is great news because you can find the ads that are the most profitable and use those you can also see what key word they're currently targeting for that particular thing the sort of search volume they're getting from it and most crucially the cost per click of course that's what Jeb was asking me about initially so Jeb that's your question answered you just simply go to the CPC column and you'll see what it is that they're currently bidding for it this is an average um, it's worth noting you can see it's uh, it's an average cost per click uh, metric and it comes from Google's API and Google's API it means that basically the keyword spy uh, tools are wired into Google so they get an idea exactly of you know what the, those different people are paying for their uh, their cost per click of course the actual CPC of a keyword is usually probably lower uh, than what you're seeing on the screen so you can see that that's probably the maximum that they're paying uh, because you know obviously people who are good at cost per click advertising will optimize their adverts and therefore they'll be paying less for their ads because Google will see that they know what they're doing so again this is something that you need to bear in mind as well but generally speaking the average cost per click is in that column right there so you can see the uh, the whole thing that they're currently uh, advertising on and how much they're paying for it you can also see when the um, ad was last seen you can see the position that it's appearing in the results uh, so where it appears on average and where it's where it was last seen so for example the top advert for eBay was last seen at position one and it averages position 1.1 so it's hovering mostly around the very top very rare that it will fall from the top result uh, whereas others you can see are you know last seen at position five uh, and they're averaging position 6.3 so you know you can see the whole uh, the whole thing there and see exactly how successful those ads are for uh, those particular companies and this works for a large number of different companies not just for the, the biggest ones like eBay you can find information out for even small you know one man band type things again it depends on your particular niche and it depends on you know who it is that is your competitor but anyway that gives you a very good overview right there now it's worth noting that on the um, basic version of uh, keyword spy you only get the top uh, 15 or so results out of however many there are so in this case I'm only getting 15 results out of 3.2 million ads obviously if I was doing this and wanted to run you know pay-per-click advertising myself and wanted to be really serious about this I would make sure that I upgrade it. Just go to the um, green button that's in the top right hand corner of Keyword Spy. Click on Upgrade Now and you'll be able to upgrade your membership. So to go and check out Keyword Spy, uh, click on the link that's below uh, this uh, this episode and uh, make sure that you know you go and check that out and you'll see the whole process. You can sign up for free and you can use the tool uh, for free. Uh, but like I say, it's very, very limited. If you want to get a complete uh, version of this, then go and click on the Upgrade Now button, uh, like I say, which is in the top right hand corner and that will take you through to the page which will show you how to sign up and you can sign up for uh, as little as $89 a month which obviously for research purposes is absolutely invaluable and for me it's actually quite well priced there's an awful lot of tools that are out there which are much more expensive than that and uh, they don't give you as much value so there's a huge amount of value to be had from Keyword Spy so just go ahead and click the link uh, that is below uh, this episode and uh, yeah you can go and check it out right there as always make sure that you subscribe whether it's on iTunes or uh, uh, via YouTube make sure you subscribe there we're uh, currently uh, just uh, gone over 300 subscribers at last count so uh, it's uh, cool that you could if you can join that community because I make sure that you stay updated with the most uh, up-to-date things on the world of online marketing and uh, you'll get uh, a great deal of value from uh, from that subscription so go ahead and do that it's completely free to do and you can also check out adventures in internet marketing.net thanks ever so much for watching and uh, if you have any questions at all feel free to get in touch either via YouTube or uh, via my blog adventures in internetmarketing.net and I'll do my very best to answer your questions. Thanks ever so much for watching and for uh, taking part in this episode and I'll speak to you again soon.